here is another lung viewed in situ, and that means completely, completely within the thoracic cavity. Notice how very shiny and balloon-like the pleural surfaces are. It's almost as like these lungs were overinflated. Well, the reason why it might appear that way is because the lungs are overinflated. And to help understand why, we'll look at the lung from uh, other points of view as well as microscopically. Please notice in this image, in which is a cut surface of the lung, that you can see uh, a very nice uh, texture here uh, throughout the parenchyma. Uh, but look at the uh, bronchioles and small bronchi. Once again, they appear to be very thickened, perhaps chronically inflamed, and for that reason, perhaps plugged with mucus. And because that represents a expiratory airway obstruction, these alveolar spaces are then overexpanded, which is why the lungs appear grossly like overexpanded balloons. Let's take a microscopic view of this asthmatic lung again. And you could see alveoli here. They are certainly uh, very well aerated, perhaps over aerated. And please note uh, that the disease process is in the small bronchi and bronchioles themselves. This would probably be better classified as a uh, bronchus rather than a bronchiole because it is surrounded by cartilage. Uh, this area here, uh, it would probably be uh, better uh, represented as a bronchiole. Let's take a look at uh, both of them. Once again, in the small bronchi and bronchiole, you could already see that there is smooth muscle hypertrophy. You could see that there is increased mucinous material within these glands, or so-called mucus plugs, like we see here. Uh, because of hypersecretion of these uh, bronchial mucosal glands, as well as increased numbers of goblet cells as well. In addition, there's a significant amount of chronic inflammation surrounding this. And therefore, uh, because of the presence of increased uh, mucin within these areas and these mucin plugs like you see here, the uh, airways distal to this are overexpanded, resulting in uh, overexpanded uh, alveoli. Here's the smooth muscle uh, thickening. Here's the chronic inflammation. Here's a mucus plug. Uh, here are some submucosal glands, also uh, inflamed as well. Let's look at a couple of other features of asthma. Very, very often when you look uh, in the inflammatory infiltrate in asthma, you'll notice a lot of these cells like here, 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 here. Perhaps the majority of these cells here, certainly here, are multi-low cells, but they have very red cytoplasm. These are eosinophils. Eosinophil uh, is associated with allergies, just like asthma is also associated with allergies. We can also see in another microscopic view that normally you would have perhaps a certain number of goblet cells within the mucosa of a bronchus, but here we'll actually see increased numbers of goblet cells if the um, slide ever wants to focus for us. I don't think it does. I'll give it one more chance before I get very, very angry and start saying bad words. Here are increased goblet cells. There's one, there's one, there's one. There's several over here. Here are the non-goblet or ciliated cells. And here's an increased amount of mucin and inflammatory debris within the lumen of the bronchiole. Here is a classical 
mucus plug within the bronchus. Here's a bronchial uh, epithelium. Here are some increased inflammatory cells, and very specifically, most of these are eosinophils, and they are all embedded within a mucus plug, which narrows the lumen, and therefore uh, has evidence right here, right in front of your eyes, for uh, over-dilated alveoli. Last but not least, you can see uh, in the uh, pictures of asthmatic lungs that the uh, submucosal glands like here, like here, like here, like here, like here, are also very hyperplastic, or perhaps if you prefer the word hypertrophied as well. I prefer hyperplast because of this increased number of cells. Uh, not only are these glands inflamed, but they are pouring out increments of mucin to these uh, bronchioles as well. So thank you very much.